Hello everyone, this is Casual Prince Aitor Sam here and welcome to what may be the final part of the Little Nightmares main campaign but that does not mean it's the end of the series because as I've said last, not last episode, two episodes ago uh, the Depths DLC came out a couple of days ago and I'll definitely be playing that. And the good thing is I have no idea what happens because I've kept it as a first reaction. If that makes sense. So I haven't watched. There she is. I have questions! So that was the Geisha. Um, so yeah, I haven't watched the playthrough of the Depths DLC, so I have no idea what happens. Ugh. Come on, Six. Give it all you got. Oh, wow. Huh! Oh, just maybe we use this one. Ugh, there we go. Honestly, elevators, wherever you go, they take forever. So I have not seen the Depths DLC, I do know that it does not, well it may involve Six, I don't know, but it is not centred around Six, it is centred around the runaway boy, as they call him. And I'm very excited for that, and we'll definitely get on to that next episode, because this is definitely going to be the final episode of the main campaign. Oh, my control is vibrating, I don't like that. And this is probably one of the most important um, sections of the game because this is the Geisha's quarters. You can hear her singing very quietly. This is the ladies' quarters, and we're about to learn something very important. Well, at least you guys are. Because I already know what's happened. Um, you see that painting there, that is actually a picture of the Mar, the very top of the Mar. Low and slow. There's a geisha doll on her desk there. Okay, she didn't see us. Okay, guys. Yeah, I think you've already seen it. Look over here. There are two pictures of a little girl in a yellow dress. Yep. Guys. Six, believe it or not, is actually the geisha's daughter that is insane but it's to do with the story <laughs> she stopped humming She's gone. 
So yeah, I'll give a quick story, well, what people know so far of the story about this woman. Let's smash this. Um, basically, something happened to the geisha, no one knows what, that made her face, like, really, go from really pretty to really ugly or something like that, and she couldn't stand that, so she wore a mask. She had the chefs wear masks, because we saw that, uh, last episode? Yeah. Um, we saw that last episode, so she makes them wear a mask to make them look ugly, all of her customers are ugly, we've already met them, and she sent all the children down to the nursery to be raised and then killed by the janitor, but of course, she wanted to be the most beautiful person, in, on the Mar, but there was one problem with that. She had a daughter, which was six, and six was very beautiful, M probably more beautiful than she was, so she fought with it for years as six grew up, but eventually she was just like, no, no one can be more beautiful than I am. And she sent six down to the nursery to get killed as well, obviously though, six escaped. And I'm gonna get ready to run because it's here. Alright, run is it! Leave us alone, mother! I don't want a hog! Now! Oh, we just missed the gap. Yeah, and the, the geisha has the uh, ability to absorb life energy or something like that. Alright. Run six. I promise I will not get you killed this time. Ha! There we go. Much better. You okay, Six? You're looking a bit weak. And as you can see, there's lots of broken mirrors around. Oh, look, there she is. Wait, is that her? I thought that was her when I watched the playthrough, but it looks like just another mannequin below the eye. I'm gonna go have a look. Yeah, that's definitely a mannequin. Well, that's weird. I thought she was one of these. But no, she's definitely not here. I don't think, anyway. Now, to my disappointment, do you remember, like, ages ago when we were still in the, uh, the janitor bit where we found that security camera and we saw loads of things that foreshadowed things later in the game, like the chefs and the, the geisha's quarters? I was an idiot because after the security camera closes down, you can press the button again and there's one more scene and that was of this place. Surely it doesn't seem that special, but watch this. This is an unbroken mirror. Every other mirror is broken. And Six is going to use this. And there she is. Well, Mother. It is time. You thought that you could become the most beautiful person on the Mar by sending Six down to get killed. But Six, like you, is very clever, and she escaped the clutches of Mr. Noodle Arms and the Fugly Cooks. And she will now defeat you. She will gain her vengeance. Let's do this, Six! Uh, 
Ah! So this is what we've got to do. We've got to deflect her own hideous face back at her. Right, where's the light? The lights over here. Hurry, six. Come at me. Ah! Oh, that was way too close. She literally almost had us then. Where's the light? It's here. I'm ready. You will torment us no more. Behind us! Uh, there we go. I think two more. I can't remember exactly how many times it is. We had a nightmare about you at the beginning, mother, but no more. Your death will come at the hands of your own daughter. We need to start being more careful about this. She's getting way too close. Ah! All right, one more. You have no idea of the pain she has gone through to get here, mother. We will defeat you! And that's all it took. And there she is. The mask has come off. And, of course... Six's stomach chooses this moment to get hungry. Her mother cast her down to the nursery to get killed and eaten by her ugly guests. And now Six has come for revenge. Let's see how you like it! Goodbye, mother. And we now gain her powers. It's like the nightmare at the beginning when Six turns to face the camera. Now, in every game like this, Journey, Abzu, and now Little Nightmares, there's a point where we run from something for the whole game, and then at the end we have the power to stop it. This is that moment. And what I really hate is every other YouTuber I've watched just spoke throughout the whole of this and ruined it. I'm going to be deadly silent. Enjoy, guys.
So, six kills all the guests and escapes them all. And if we look down, the gnomes. And I do believe these are all the gnomes that we've hugged. Six is there at the top. They don't know what to do. They're just like, do we go after her or do we stay here? And that is it, guys. That is the end of the Little Nightmares main campaign. Now, obviously, that was actually quite a short video. I did say that we get it done in this video. Only 16 minutes now. Um, yeah, we now have the Depths DLC to play. And I'm super excited because... As I said, I have no idea on what's going to happen and the events that are contained within. So I really hope you did enjoy the video. Six murdered her own mother, stole her powers, killed all the guests, and now has escaped the Mar for an uncertain future. But there is actually a small clip at the end, so I suppose I'll cut to that bit. Little nightmares. And there we are. There's six at the very top of the mall. So that's what the mall looks like at the very top. And if we listen, hold on. The horn of another ship. So maybe Six got on another ship and did the same thing. Maybe it was the horn of the ship that the guests were boarding on to the Mar with in the couple of episodes ago. So we don't know what happened to Six, but maybe we'll find out in the depth. So next episode, we will be going on to the depth and seeing what secrets the Mar has to offer. So thanks a lot for watching everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye guys.